Where are we going, guys? Arizona. Scottsdale. <laughs> no, we're going to well, Phoenix. We're landing in Phoenix and then we're going to Scottsdale. On a bus. And we have water slides at our hotel. So that's cool. Our pool has like water slides and t like ping pong and mochi ball. Tell her the ours has a water park. Ours has a water park. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're landing in uh, in a few minutes here. Um, so we're Scottsdale, or I think we're going into Phoenix, and we're driving into Scottsdale. It's like a 30 minute drive. just told me to hold his hand. Oh, for real? We'll see how he does. So yeah, super excited. All right, guys, we are here in Arizona. Uh huh. You can say. Something. Hi, guys. So I'm with Andon and Brevin and Jamie. And Chloe is with Cohen in them. They're, they're, uh, That's where we are. So we're in uh, Litchfield. Litch, I think Litchfield. It's called the Wigwam in Arizona. We just landed. Um, it is 11 o'clock right now. And it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. So uh, two beds. And... That's pretty awesome. The cool thing about this resort is that it's it, everything's kind of in here. So um, there's some pools, gym, restaurants, tennis courts, bathrooms, giant closet, and we brought some essentials. And we have two door access, uh, key card only from one side, but you can leave and exit uh, both sides. But like this is kind of the coolest part, I think, because you're kind of living here the whole time. We took a shuttle to get here after a plane. But like this is just an open area in the back. So the kids can just come out here, run around, play if they're not at the pool, hang out. Got some really cool stuff going on. But this is kind of like a courtyard of one little area about the whole resort. But I wonder if they do like events or just something. They do something to get everybody together. Hopefully we'll look for that. Casey Neistat, I can look at the LCD screen all day and you guys have no idea. Look at my new bathing suit. I love it. It's Whoa. bananas. Whoa. All right, let's get a little fashion showy. Strike it. <laughs> Work. You didn't give it to me. Wait, give can I try? Me. Watch oh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Watch yeah. this. Ready? Wait. Hey. What's going on in your drink? There you go. This is fashion stuff. Work it. Work it. <laughs> Look at Ryan has a mermaid tail backpack that she can wear and swim with. I'm not losing this mermaid. You don't even know where you're going. Remember where? It's not even that way. Our mom said it's, we're not allowed to watch it anyways because like, watch this. We're not they, like, make, no, it's not in the We're not like, been waiting. We're all waiting. We normally, like, normally drink beer. What? We normally drink beer. It's a brain dead show. Drink so. A big, huge, ginormous bottles of water. And I'm drink some beer. Yo, fam, and now I'm on my money. Apparently, it's 48 inches to ride the slide. So we got these five, six, seven, whatever. It's like 48 inches to ride, and we have one kid that is not. But I think when we were booking it, they changed it. He said they recently changed it. So now all the kids want to go on the slide except for one can't, and that sucks. Just got to figure a way around it. But we're here. It's not a cheap resort. So, um, But so far, it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys a pool a little bit here, see what we got going on. There is a couple slides, a couple chill, and really at this resort, it's, it's kind of it. Just pool tennis i mean not that much stuff to do and i think that's kind of the point of it so that you can just kind of hang out and relax so, i took the shade i took the shade <laughs> and then from here they have uh, cabanas over there that were normally 130 is what the first guy told us and then we were like all right let's book it and the guy comes and says it's actually 200 for the holiday weekend which is Easter weekend. I guess Easter weekend's a big thing around here. Uh, looks like there's another, there's a bar right there. There's a bar right here. Bar and grill, there's a bar right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool so far. We're just gonna chill and order drinks and do You know, thing. I'm hungry, but I'm drinking. And when I drink, I don't get that hungry. So it's about to go down. There's gonna be a naked Asian running around here. I'm the naked Asian, <laughs> that's me. Apparently Brandon cannot take a photo. He cannot take a photo. So, 
It's like photo 18. Now they're inspecting the photo. Yeah, that's the second to last one. Jamie, did you see Jamie? Yeah. Should I say it or no? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Remember what you did to us. Grab it! Oh yeah, watch it. I gave you a bracelet. Watch your heart. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Woo, feel the heat, boys. It is uh, like four o'clock now, and we just got done with the pool. Uh, we were there from like, let's say, I think 10, 10.30 to four, and it got really, really hot. It's like 90 degrees, and I'm hot. My whole body's hot. Cactus. Ooh, that'd be a cool shot. Jeremy, are you just gonna vlog the whole time? Not the whole time. Today is vlogging day. Tomorrow will be photo shoot day. I have to break them up into days because I'm not coordinated enough to do both. Is that cool with you? You cool with that, bruh? So Don't We're touch the stuff. You guys got carrots. We got carrots. We're carrots. Look at carrots. We all got carrots. Munch like a bunny. Look. They're supposed to do like games and a train ride and stuff over there. I think we're doing it. So tomorrow is, um, wait, tomorrow's not Easter. Tomorrow's the Easter hunt. Tomorrow's like the Easter hunt here. So they're doing like train rides and they're doing a bunch of stuff back here in this little area which is right next to our room so our room's right here and we have two entrances so this is the side of the room but this will be cool this will be kind of exciting to do oh my god that is bright the sun's right to me sun's starting to get down to magic hour which is starting to get this amazing glowy light that i love 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 see like that beautiful light on the dough the donut monster Are you a donut monster donut monster i love you tired if you guys are coming to the wigwam, there's a couple things. I read some reviews, didn't really let it do a bias to me. But we have a couple things going down on our curtains here. We're all just kind of, and there's a lot of bugs in here. And I don't know if it's just an Arizona thing or this area. So I was kind of in here. This is our closet. Beautiful closet. Like, look. Look. There's spider webs everywhere. There's a spider in there. There's a spider in there. Ugh. There's a spider? Let me see if I can expose for it here. No, I'm saying it's, it's like attached to the freaking bathroom and everything. Whoa, you guys see it better. It's right like there. Is there a spider on it? There's a spider. Let's investigate a little bit further. Is it up there too? So, so far, I mean, everything's been cool, but, you know, it's not a cheap place to stay. And this is obvious that nobody's cleaned it because it's such a big, like, and like did you, see you know, I mean, like, if your glass was broken, you walked in and you saw it was broken. It's a thing. So I walked in there and I'm like, there's a ton of spider webs, a ton of stuff. So then that makes you start to look at other things within the room and you start to freak out a little bit and go, what else is happening? One of the reviews I saw before we came here, just kind of Googling and, and researching on Yelp, was somebody actually found a bunch of bees, took a bunch of pictures of the bees, ended up leaving early um, because of the bees and the bees were dead and then flying around, but we don't have bees in here. So it's day one like 12 hours in so we're just gonna let it go and see what happens they're gonna come clean it they're gonna make note of the uh of the curtain because obviously if they come in and they see the curtains dirty or broken they will charge us for it so we don't want that but that's life that's what we're at right now incidentals right incidentals but we didn't break it so we're not gonna pay for it All right, had a delicious, amazing breakfast. Full intention of doing photography out there with my kids. 
Um, but oh my God, they invited the whole freaking city and state of Arizona here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And I might have to delete the volume of this, but crap. Going on in front of our uh, stage here as our performers are going to be utilizing this open area. So, for safety reasons, we invite you just to keep that circle right where you guys are. There has to be like a bajillion people here. Uh, and I can't really do anything else um, because I have music playing, so I can't really vlog. I can't get through anything. Uh, the lines are like Disneyland lines. It's like nobody else has anything to do around here. So, they all came here which maybe this is the place to be um, in this area for um, Easter. Music starting, I gotta go hide, I gotta go hide. Hey guys, so welcome back. And we are still in Arizona. There was um, Easter thing, like um, Easter hunt over here. But they took all the, there was like fences and face paint and, and like bouncy houses and stuff. But they took it all down. And Chloe is taking a bunch of photos. And there's Andin and Jamie. Their room is right next to us. Well, not Jamie's room, but <laughs> Andin's room. And so we're just sitting on the patio. Um, yeah, and the reason why I'm starting the vlog is because my dad said to take over. But yeah, and I have my phone. And I got this ring. It's really, I found it. Well, I didn't find it. My mom found it. But yeah, and I'm just wearing this um, ice cream. Oh, it says ice cream made. It says ice cream made me do it. And I'm just wearing cute pants. <laughs> we went to the pool today, and it was so hot. Okay, guys. So. As you can see, my dad was trying to help me. Hey, Anna, what you up to? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Hey, James, what you up to? Two videos. Nothing? Nothing? Oh, I see her. Show her out. Nothing really to do. Yeah. I'm not very really good, Anna. You know how like, you can't jump because there's people under you? You can, go, you can jump in this room. Mm -hmm. Not that room, but you know what I mean. We'll just walk around where we walk off. Yeah, that's what my mom does. <laughs> that's what my mom does. Yeah, that's what they do. They go, they put their hands under, and then they put their hand on top, like that. So they can hold their like stomach. Yeah, like this. My mom just keeps rubbing her stomach. Yeah, that's what you do. One time she was like, Hey guys, it's Andin. <laughs> yeah, let me see if they can see you. You can put it up so they can see you. So you can see if they can see you. Oh. Don't look up there. Look at the camera part. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, we're just walking around. <laughs> little Chloe down there. And yeah, and Andin is just with us. Yes. <laughs> Last time you guys saw her, she was like that's, 12. That's the ice machine. Okay, and then there's this, all of these palm trees. After, so the, pretty the here. Last time you saw her, Arizona. she was like 12. Andin. Yeah, I was like Look four. And <laughs> don't show them this. No, don't show them Oh. Here. Well, you, what, you have here, a I'll take over. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Underwear. <laughs> you don't have to show me the underwear. <laughs> okay, and then these are not like ours, but they're... No, she's like single and ready to mingle. Mm -hmm. like so, the Oh, that's cute. Aww. Big bar? No. Yeah. Zona 2018. Hey. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh. I have a rash. <laughs> <laughs> My lip gloss be popping. My lip gloss be cute. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I'm here. Um, I'm still with in Arizona, but I'm going to be telling you guys that water is super hydrating, so you should be drinking it. Um, <laughs> I have water here for an example of how much you should drink per day and per hour. <laughs> so, here you go. What if that was a thing? You like, just went into a random person. I don't have to like, sleep. A kiss of or 
So guys, you should think about eat like that, close it. Eat a meal, close it. Eat a meal, drink it. Eat a meal, close it. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you that. Phones are a yes, okay? You have to have a phone. Brandon and I just walked, I think it was like a mile, a mile each way both to, ways. both ways, so that's two miles, even though the app said it was like 0.7 miles, uh, to get some chips and some whiskey. Good morning, guys. All right, it is April 1st, April Fool's, Easter Sunday. I didn't do anything for April Fool's this year. Easter Bunny came last night, and this is what they did. Hey. Guys, let's put all of our gums in here. That's what Mommy said. Mommy and gum. What'd you get? What? I got carrot with like um sunflower flavor. Sunflower flavor. I don't know what they are. <laughs> They're just candy. And then peeps. Marshmallow here, boy. Right. Guys, I was almost like, oh, like I kept waking up because I couldn't sleep, but I didn't appreciate anything. Wait, well, well, that was. And I got. Easter Bunny came. I got them. a bunch. Of gums. This looks like an Easter egg candy, but it's actually gum. And I have one in my mouth right now, so you should really go try it. Oh. <laughs> all right. So I have a little carrot thingy. Okay. That's mine has. Put all your gum in here. Oh, and marshmallow. It's a marshmallow cookie kind of thing. I got some peeps. The peeps. Sweet. I got Pete the Cat's Big Easter Adventure. And I have those little gum things. Cool. Yay. Okay. Jimmy got all the same stuff? What? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Wait, see what those things behind you? What are those? Oh, they're fish sticks. Oh, oh yeah, we oh, also bought these. fish sticks. Um, they're like the diver toys that you go to dive Ooh, for. Cool. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Woke up in the of the night what a weirdo. Like, we watched Forrest Gump yesterday. <laughs> what a weirdo. Yeah, that was Jamie. We're a doll. Alright guys, so I ran, walked like a mile to the store so we got some Easter eggs for the kids. So hopefully they, they grab the eggs and no other weird kids just show up to do this as well. So let's get it started. Did the Easter Bunny come out here? I don't know. You guys, look at this. What? What? Oh my gosh, we Whoa. need to get the miles. Jesus came. <laughs> Probably because my dad was. Did Jesus come? 
Go get yeah, your bag or no? Look around you, Bobby. Yeah, you guys, I think you're going to need your bags. Go get this. a bag, girl. Did you lock the door behind you? Okay, if I don't know how to do bubbles, I'm Boom. Okay. Wait, can you check first if there's stuff in them? Yeah. Wait, stand over here. Wait, there's, there's totally right. stuff in them. Is Brandon dressed? Yeah, he is. Brandon, get out of here. Brandon. Brandon, get out of here. Super successful Easter egg hunt. Easter eggs. Easter's here. Jesus brought us candies today. Praise Jesus. I did trades with all of these people and now all of my candies are chocolate. Except for this thing. Nice. It's a special. I have five. I have four packets of nerds. Nerds. Twelve. I got 12 of these. Do you have some to Chloe? Mm -hmm. She wasn't wanting to share with me. No, you're going to share with her. Cool. Well, let's see how many Chloe can eat, and then we'll go from there. How many Chloe can eat? Look at how much he has, and look how much I have. I know, but how many do you really need? I have six or seven. I'm going to get this one, you guys. Come on. Look at it. 13. Look at it, Cohen. Ready? Wait. Bitches getting stitches! Oh my god! Stop saying that! Super inappropriate. All right, guys, we're on our last day. Oh, I love this blue light. It doesn't even look this blue right now. We're on our last day. And a uh, few drinks, few pool days. Literally all we did every day was pool. And restaurants and drinks. And it wasn't too bad here. The prices here are pretty good. But uh, we're on our last day. We're leaving in the morning tomorrow. And I'm, I'm ready to go, kind of at that point. I uh, did play some tennis today, which was epic. We did not film, but my arm is burnt from playing tennis. For the 45 minutes we played tennis, I got sunburnt rather than the whole time in the pool not putting sunscreen on at all. I just kept forgetting and I have really good skin, the Asian thing in me, so we didn't worry about that too much. <sighs> but yeah, I'm like full and I think my alcohol tolerance is amazing because I drank all the beers and all the shots and all the whiskeys and nothing happened. I still know what's happening right now. But yeah, I got some like burnt right here, looks like. I don't know if that's burnt or... I got some good skin. I got some good color. Let's go about that backdrop. What is it? Ooh, it looks delicious. Chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Chocolate covered sunflower seeds. All right, so we're going to get ready to go in the morning. Might not talk to you guys till then, but it's been a good trip so far. I think that's probably good. Live it how I live it. I live it how I live it. I'm not videoing you, bro. Oh my god, it's uh, we got up at 5 15, 5 20, 5 30 ish, 6 in the morning. We are about to leave, and uh, we're waiting for our shuttle to get here at 6 15 ish. I think it takes about an hour to get to the airport from the wigwam. Um, Overall, it was a pretty good experience. I mean, all the girls are burnt, uh, um, dry skin, and so it's a little bit different of a spring break, but overall it was cool. Uh, I think we stayed kind of the perfect days. We were here from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and we're leaving Tuesday. And I think that was kind of perfect. Um, really, it's a, it's a good resort. They have pretty decent food pretty good pricing for the food so you're not spending a ton of money where you feel like I remember we were in uh, Hawaii and I felt like everywhere we went we were just overspending on food like pancakes were like $20 uh, this place is very reasonable and I think they price it for the area around where where if you live around here you can kind of come and, and eat and have a good time and hang out but overall it was a really really good experience um, if we were to stay today I mean we would just be by the pool again and I can only do so much by the pool I'm very, uh, I have to move around, I just want stuff to do, I want to explore, I want to experience, that's how I like to enjoy my spring break, so this was a little bit different, 
more of a relaxation spring break. Um, but the wigwam's cool. I honestly think maybe a three-day trip would be cool here. Uh, anything more than that, you're kind of just running out of things to do. And maybe it's a time of, of year that we came to, but um, I mean, they had the they had the Easter thing that went on, which was cool. One thing that I felt like I missed here was some sort of community experience. Some sort of luau night, barbecue night, taco night, or, um, you know, like dancing in the ballroom or something like that where they do something for, for, for everybody that's here to kind of get together and be together and have something for us to actually do. Um, even like, you know, um, stuff that I loved in Mexico or Hawaii or anything like that was they would just have vendors come in and start to try to sell you stuff. And we would buy things because that's part of the area because there's nowhere for us to go. I mean, we walked to the store the other day and it was a mile that way and a mile back. Um, and that was like the first sign of stores that we saw and it wasn't even good stores. So, and that was like an Albertsons, you know, like a grocery store. It wasn't like a shopping store. So Lindsay was like, oh, I wish I could shop. It'd be cool to have the vendors come here and do something. They do have live music um, a couple nights, but in the live music area, that place fills up super quick, so nobody can actually sit down to do that. Um, beautiful venue. I think that's kind of my only nitpicky thing. The rooms are cool, minus the spider webs the first night, but we're in the desert, so what, what can you expect? I mean, it's, it's kind of, you have to live in that area. Uh, what's in the birds? Anyways, everybody's in there getting their drinks, doing their things, but overall it's a good experience. We're gonna head home, and I do have some work to do tonight. Um, stuff that I booked tonight, because I could only be gone for so long. But yeah. Anyways, oh my god, last night, horrible migraine. Um, I don't know what it was. I don't know if I was like, I felt nauseous, I had a horrible migraine. Uh, my neck was hurting all day yesterday, actually the day before, so I had a few drinks. I think it masked the pain a little bit, which was nice, but then that started to dissipate, and I was just laying in bed, and like it was spinning, my head felt literally like it was going to jump out of my, my like, brain was like going to pop out, so Lindsay gave me some Advil ibuprofen, I don't even know, I took something, and fell asleep, and then just kept waking up with a little bit of headache, so I have a little bit of something going on like right here, right now. Um, we, I just got to get home. We just gotta get home. That's, although it's, I mean, it's like 6.15, it's super warm out. This is like good running weather. Like if I was out here, I'd totally be running right now. I mean, I don't run, but you know, I wanna run. All right, bye.